Hello everyone, this is Kushag. Welcome to our YouTube channel Dev Town. If you like the content, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. So you'll be seeing a series of videos required for you to get a good understanding of web development. So students, in the previous video, we have talked about uh, HTML, CSS and we have learned the basics of HTML. We have learned the basics of CSS. So students, in today's video, we would be designing one uh, project that would be related to HTML and CSS. As you can see, this is the project that we would be designing today. So it's a tribute page to Steve Jobs and we would be using HTML and CSS to design that. So let's start quickly without wasting time. So let me just shut back to the VS Code. So you have to open a VS Code in um, one folder and you have to create two files inside that that is your index.html and your style.css so let me just quickly create to these two files and yeah so go to your index.html file and quickly generate the html boilerplate code and change your title to tri tribute page tribute page as you can see the title is changed and just link your css file so as you can see the css file is linked and your title is also changed just stop the server and just start again the server is starting as you can see the server is started and the title is also changed to tribute page so let me just quickly start coding so for first you need a header with a class say header yeah as you can see the header is there header tag and inside the header tag we would be having one h1 tag with a class of title and uh, next thing we would be having one paragraph tag with a class of description as you can see so in the title tag we would be adding a steve's job and in the description we would be adding the year start is 1955 to 2011 so this is all in the header section let me just quickly add a section with a class of say tribute as you can see the class is there and in this we would be adding one block code so a block code with uh, so the block code that we would be adding i have this in the notepad let me just quickly copy that as you can see this is the block code that we would be adding so yeah your block code and inside an uh, inside this section tag we would be had uh, adding one image so image so let me just quickly add a uh, image so i also have the image in the notepad let me just quickly copy it and paste it over here let me just say all set and inside this all section we would be typing steve's job image steve jobs image as you can see the image is there and now we would be moving towards the css part so let me just quickly move back to the css part or before moving to the css let us check like how our page is looking as you can see the image is there steve's job image is there and the its name and the years and the code is also there so let's just shift back to the vs code as you can see till now it's going fine so let me just universal selector and let me just say star and say margin as zero pixels and let me just add a padding also zero pixels and box sizing to border box box sizing border box let me just go to the body tag now and yeah let me just add the font family to times 
and serif. So this is the font that we would be using and the color would be white and background color would be black. So this is all about the body and let me just have one container. Yeah, container. Container is basically used to add some kind of a padding in all the sites. So I will show you. So let me just add a max width of say 90 rem. And let me just add a margin little bit margin of say two rems and auto and let me just add a padding padding of say zero pixels and two rem. So this is all about the container and let me just now move to the header class. So for header class we would be having padding of say two pixels two rem sorry and margin of one ram and zero pixels and let me just uh, add a text alignment to center align to center yeah as you can see this is for the header and now we would be shifting inside the header and we would be moving towards the title part now. So this is all about the title inside the title. We would be having some margin bottom margin bottom to one rem. And uh, now we would be moving towards the tribute part. Let me just shift to the tribute dot. tribute class and in the tribute we would be having it as display grid grid template columns should be 2fr comma 1fr and max width should be your 78 rem and your margin would be zero pixels in auto and your background would be white and your color would be black black and your align item should be center and padding we have to give some padding over there zero pixels zero pixels zero pixels and one rem yeah so that's all about the pad uh, tribute part and now we would be moving towards the block code inside the tribute tribute block codes and yeah we would be having text aligned to center and font size to 3 rem. Let me just move down to image now dot tribute to image part and image would be having a max width of say 100%. Yeah. So it's ready. So that's all about the as you can see, it's there. The Steve Jobs part is also there and the image is also looking fine. Now let's move towards the bio part. So let me just add a bio section now. So we would be having one more section inside this and let me just add a section tag and let me just add a class. I forgot to add a class. Say it as bio and inside this um, bio we would be having one h2 tag and one p tag 
so inside the h1 we would be writing biography yeah biography and inside the p tag we would be writing the biography so i have the biography of steve jobs in the note part so ready let me just quickly copy it i would be pasting all these things like your image and all other things in the description so you can copy it from there no need to worry about that and we would be having one hr tag over here so for a line that was coming let me just quickly show you for this line we are using hr tag for this line let me just quickly shoot back towards the vs code yeah that's all about the bio part for html let me just quickly shift towards the vs code and uh, add the bio so for select the bio class and just type the css for that margin would be your to rem and auto and your padding would be zero pixels sorry pixels and 0.5 rem and your max width would be 40 rem and now we would be moving inside the h2 tag that we have used for biography so let me just type h2 and margin bottom should be 1 rem and font size should be your 3 rems line height should be 1.2 let me just move inside the p tag let me just get some space over here and inside the p tag we would be having the font size to say 1.2 rem and line height to 1.4 line height to 1.4 yeah and now we would be moving inside the hr tab margin top 2 rem yeah that's all about the bio let me just quickly check this is the sorry as you can see the bio is coming fine and your tribute page is ready so that's all about the students and uh, don't worry about the links and all other things so i would be pasting it in the description so you can copy it from there and this is your sim simple html and css project is ready so you can paste this project into your resume and your cvs and all other things so that's all thank you